Hey guys, what's up? It's Jordan. And back again with another video. And so for today's video, I'm going to be filming a huge Goodwill try on thrift haul. You know the drill, another haul, another day. So anyways, before we get into the clothing haul, I wanna talk about sustainability in clothes. So right now there's a, <laughs> that was a bad voice crack. <laughs> so right now there's a huge issue with climate change and our environment being bad. And we do not wanna increase that amount with fast fashion and clothing. So you can find some really cool things at the thrift store for half the price and it's unique and very individual. And I also wanna say I have a Depop where I'm selling a lot of my old clothes. A lot of it's name brand like Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, Levi's, whatever. So if you wanna maybe check them out, check that out. The link's in the, in, <laughs> why can't I talk? Please tell me. The link is in the description if you wanna check out my Depop. And yeah, I just wanna use this as a PSA to please try out thrifting and just maybe skip the Forever 21 without further ado. Let's just get right on into this freaking video. So in this haul, I have a ton of clothes. So I'm gonna break it up into t-shirts, hang tops, jackets, bottoms, pants. Why did I say bottoms? Okay, anyways, let's start with the t-shirts. Let's get into the t-shirts. So the first shirt I got from Goodwill is this really cute blue t-shirt. I really liked this because of the unique pattern on it and I also liked how it fit because it's not super tight but it's also not loose like the one I'm wearing right now. So yes, I had to pick this one up because it's a really nice material and it was only $2.99. The next shirt I got is this, okay. Get me, don't get me wrong on this one. I think that it's very questionable. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to style this like in a cute way, but it's this really oversized knit t-shirt that has stripes on it and a little embroider design. I feel like this is either like cute trendy teen or like your grandma. I'll let you know if I figure out how to style this or I might end up selling it because I don't know, it's kind of cool. Don't really know how I feel about it. I'm gonna figure it out. The next shirt I got at the thrift store is, I actually found this at the little boy section, but it's just a plain white t-shirt that fits like tight and I really like how it fits. It's just very flattering and it just says, says LTN Los Angeles. I don't know. I really liked how that fit. Again, it was like $2, $2.99, something like that. The next t-shirt I got is another really nicely fitted t-shirt. I mean, I don't know what this really is. It's like a brand or whatever but i don't know i really liked the style and how it fit on my body type the next shirt i got at the thrift store i actually thought was a pretty good find it's just a vans t-shirt and i thought it would be kind of nice to just throw on if i wasn't really feeling my outfit or if i just like wanted to do something easy that was still cute i might even crop it but i really like the red color just a cute Vans t-shirt. The next shirt I got is another red t-shirt, which is actually, it's definitely like someone made it for like a wedding or something, because it says like something weird on the back. But it's again, just an oversized t-shirt and I really liked the cherries on it because, I don't know, I just thought it was really cute if I wore like some Nikes and a pair of like baggy jeans. The next t-shirt I got was a champion tie-dye t-shirt. I got this for $2.99 and again, it's just kind of an oversized t-shirt to throw on to be casual. So I only have a few more t-shirts to show you. The next t-shirt I got was again, that kind of cute fitted style and it was just a Puma t-shirt. It's red and I thought that the like pattern on it was really cute. I don't know. I thought that this would be really cute with a pair of like mom jeans or something. Again, $2.99 name brand, whatever. The next shirt I got, I really like. I'm talking so fast, I'm so sorry. The next shirt I got is actually super cute. It just has this graphic on it and it fits, again, that really nice, like, tight t-shirt type of thing. And I love the graphic on it. And then it says, soy una chica ruda. Oh my God, I sounded so white just then. Please excuse my bad pronunciation but it just means I'm a rude girl and I just really liked this t-shirt. The color's really cute. The fit's really cute, $2.99. The price is really cute. 
I had to pick that up. The next shirt I got, I have been really obsessed with. It's just a um, shirt that says Kawaii Dragonflies. And it's a black t-shirt that has two dragonflies on it. And I just liked how it fit. And I thought that the pattern like looked good with my eyes. I don't know, I don't know. I just thought it was a cute shirt to throw on with a pair of jeans. Just pretty cute. The last t-shirt I got is actually such a good find. It really reminds me of like the early 2000s. It is, I cropped it myself and it's uneven, but I'm gonna fix that. So don't hate on me for that. But it's this really cute Adidas t-shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually has like some glitter on it. And I just love the purple color and the print is really cute. I don't know. I just thought that this was such a good find. That is all the t-shirts I got. Um, that I just want to show you that you can find a ton of name brand items that are unique and different and cool. They don't even need to be name brand for really cheap and in a sustainable way. So moving on to tank tops. Okay, so... For these tank tops, there was a sale on Memorial Day, which was like half off. So all of these tank tops were literally a dollar. So you're really getting the bang for your buck. So the first tank top I got was literally in the little girl section. It really reminds me of something we wore when I was little. It's just a turquoise tank top that has glitter all over it, but I cropped it and I think it looks really cute on with just a baggy pair of jeans. And it's definitely questionable. I think I could style this in the right way and I think it just is really cute and flattering. The next t-shirt I got is inside out right now, but it's just this orange like tank top that I cropped and I tied in the back. I don't know, I thought that this could definitely be a very unique piece and it could be worn correctly if styled correctly. The next tank top I got is just this pink long tank top. And it definitely reminds me of something like Brandy Melville is selling right now. And it was only a dollar. It's a really nice material. It's really thick. It just looks really cute with a pair of like baggy pants tucked in. Maybe I'll crop it. I don't know. A good basic to have. Good pink tank top. Then the next tank top I got is just this style of tank top reminds me of something from the 90s. And I really like it. So it was originally really long and I cropped it. And it has a really cute lace pattern and the color is just really, really nice. I don't know. And I think it's just a really cool tank top. And I really like the like long, the thicker like tankness to it. I don't know. I thought it was just a really cute tank top. So the last tank top definitely reminds me of like the early 2000s or the 90s. And I just thought it was so cute. So it's just a basic white tank top that I cropped and i really like the fit of it now the embroidering on this is so pretty it's literally just like embroidered flatter flowers that have a jewel in the middle of them oh yes that is the last tank top i picked up so the first sweater i picked up was just this turquoise um kind of velour jacket i don't know i feel like these have been really trendy recently and it was only three dollars there was also a lot of juicy couture there but sadly none of it fit me but Yes, it's just a velour, like, velvet, um, lightweight jacket that I thought was really cute. The next sweater I got was this, like, men's chaps sweater. It's really big and oversized, but I feel like it looks really cool with, like, a baggy pair of jeans, this big sweater, and then, like, a pair of chunky sneakers. I hate the word chunky, but a pair of big sneakers. I don't know, I just really like the fit of it and I feel like for the winter it'll be really comfortable. It was only like $3. And then the last jacket I got is kind of questionable, but it was like a really nice bomber jacket for $10, but it's just not the right team. So it's just this Cowboys huge bomber jacket and it says Cowboys across the back, but it's really nice quality, even though I do not like the Cowboys that's what's up with that i don't know i feel like for the winter it'll just be a really nice staple just a huge jacket that i don't know why i bought in the summer but that's okay anyways that's the last jacket I so the first item i picked up from goodwill actually is kind of interesting so it's just this really cute like cheetah print maxi skirt that fits really nicely looks really good on but i realized 
it actually also works as a tube top so i'll show you how it looks like both ways but it looks really good as a tube top and i love the pattern on it and it also just looks really good as a skirt so it's like a two-in-one type of deal you really can't go wrong with this the next pair of pants i got at goodwill were a pair of rider jeans and this is actually a really nice brand i always see it at like vintage stores for really expensive but it's a pair of white pants that fit kind of baggy but not super baggy and i just they're really cute and comfortable nice fit i could go on but yeah i just picked up these jeans for like seven bucks so the next two things I got were from the men's pajama section. So the first pair of pants I got, I'm really pumped about because they fit me really well. They're a pair of gray Fila sweatpants. They are a size men's large. Um, we love that for me. But they're just a pair of gray sweatpants. I always steal my sister's pair and I feel like these are just gonna be really great. They're Fila, nice brand, nice pair of sweats, yes. Now, the next pair of pajama pants I got, they're actually these really cute, like, plaid PJ pants. They're really comfortable, really soft. But another interesting thing about these is I have been wearing them as regular pants because, I don't know, I feel like they just look cool and they kind of add a little flair to an outfit. But yeah, I've been wearing these as pants regularly and as pajama pants, so it's another, like, two-in-one. So I got those for, like, $3.00. The last pair of pants I have actually has a bit of a story. So let me just story time this. So I forgot my house key and I had to walk to my brother's work and on my way to my brother's work to grab his house key, there was just a pile of clothes on the ground. Now, was this a little questionable? Yes. Was it probably a homeless person's? I don't know, but somebody just left a bunch of clothes on the ground and I picked them up. So, I got this pair of black Dickies jeans that have a little bit of staining and I definitely wash them. That's a pro tip, please wash your clothes. They're just a pair of Dickies black jeans and they fit me and I didn't have to pay a dime for the pants. So, that's kind of a win-win situation for me because Dickies jeans can go for a lot of money. And I got them for free, they fit me they're really nice they were free so i picked up these jeans off the ground and that is everything i got at the thrift store this was a long video and that concludes my haul well guys if you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe for more check out my instagram at jj orton rafael i post some pretty cool pictures you can see how i style all these clothes on there follow my depop at jordan rafael if you want to buy some of my old clothes you know the drill and comment something down below whatever's on your mind i will see you in my next video bye